Hello everybody, today I want to talk about weight training for runners. Stay tuned. So, it's a hot topic right now. Should distance runners lift weights? And if they should, how should they? How, sh how should their training program be designed? When should they do it? what kind of exercises, all that kind of thing. There's lots and lots of questions to answer, so let's get straight to it. Basically, yes, distance runners should lift weights, and it's a really helpful thing for their training. So why do we strength train as distance runners? Two main reasons. One, it makes the body more injury resilient. It toughens the bones, the connective tissue, the ligaments, the tendons, and allows us to train at a higher level, uh, to get more training done, to survive that training better, it balances out the body. Uh, that's the main reason, injury prevention. The other reason is performance enhancement. If you're training in the right way, you're developing power and strength. That's gonna to transfer to races and make you stronger. It's gonna make you faster. That's why we should strength train as runners. So how should we be doing this? What kind of reps and weights and sets and timings and all that kind of thing. I believe that runners should be doing whole body big dynamic movements rather than focusing on individual muscles. So that's things like the deadlift, the squat, the lunge. These big whole body movements are going to recruit the most muscle fibers. We can load them up with a heavy weight and that's going to give us our most bang for our buck. They're the best kind of exercises for runners to do. Runners should be training with a low amount of reps, somewhere in the three to six rep range. Um, low sets as well, so not a high total volume, because it's not needed to elicit a stimulus. And heavy weight, and a long rest between the sets. They're the main things to remember. So you might have a strength training session that's built around your primary exercise, which is a deadlift, say. You're gonna be lifting, you're gonna build up to lifting heavy after a few warm up sets. Um, and you might just do two to three sets of three to four reps. You might only do 10 reps in a session of, of the deadlift. So what exercises should we, we be doing as runners? Things that target the back muscles and the glutes and the hamstrings are probably most important as well. So things like glute bridges and hamstring curls and kettlebell swings, these uh, are gonna be really good for the posterior chain. Um, exercises like pull-ups, rows, uh, reverse rows, bent over rows, good mornings, that kind of thing is going to be very good. The other kind of category of exercises that are good for runners are explosive movements. So we want to generate power. Things like plyometrics and jumps, hops, skips, box jumps, that kind of thing, squat jumps, burpees, um, even things like medicine ball throws. And a lot of elites do explosive Olympic lifting because there's a lot of studies to show that that's very beneficial, but I personally would not do that for a long time and not under the guidance of a, of a good coach. Because there's lots of things that can go wrong when you're doing explosive movement with that much weight. They're very technical, those exercises and lifts, but if you can do them and you're confident in them and you've had training and you've built, built up your body to support yourself for that, then that's probably a really good thing to do as well. The final category I think is single leg work really important for, for runners because we spend all our time on one leg when we're going, in a, when we're going for a run. Um, things like single leg deadlifts, things like single leg rows, uh, even you can do single leg press ups, you can do single leg reverse rows, you can do single leg uh, um, good mornings. Like most exercises, plenty of exercises can be transferred into a single leg version. It just makes it more runner specific. So that's another category of exercise that's really effective for runners. Lastly, when should runners be doing their strength training sessions? I believe in hard days hard and easy days easy. So after your hardest workouts, like a hard long run or a hard tempo or a track session, speed work, things like that, that's when you should get in the weight training area straight after just a bit of a break, have some water, have a snack, uh, and then hit your, your weight training session. The reason why is it makes your recovery days true recovery days. If you do Monday a hard tempo, Tuesday you hit the gym and work out in a hard way as well. Wednesday you 
have a far leg run. Thursday, you're in the gym again. Friday, you have a hard long run. You're never really getting recovered. You're never letting the body heal. Whereas if you put everything that's hard on one day, so your hardest strength training, your hardest running, then your true easy day is just easy aerobic and you actually recover. The other benefit to doing hard weight training straight after a hard run, when your body's already tired, you're going to elicit even more gains by taxing the core, by taxing all those stabilizer muscles that are pre-fatigued, um, forcing your body to recruit more muscle fibers after it's been doing so for your speed work or whatever. You're then trying to gain more out of it and that's really going to benefit your body. So that's a little talk about why runners should strength train and weight train. Uh, stay tuned for more information on some exact exercises and routines that I do. There's going to be a lot more coming on this channel and I hope you find it useful. I hope it helps you to run well, run injury free. Thanks for tuning in and come back again. Stay powerful.